Gromald. Minister, back to school costs are a huge burden in any year. And you would often hear organisations such as Bernardo's and St Vincent de Paul uh, and the Irish League of Credit Unions talk about the enormous increased rate of calls that they get and uh, community welfare officers from families who are really, really struggling. That is true, that has been true the last few years, but that is doubly true this year. We have a cost of living crisis that sees rents spiralling out of control, childcare costs uh, like a second mortgage, food costs increasing, fuel costs increasing, electricity costs increasing. On top of that, this year you're going to have schools who themselves are under financial pressure passing on some of those costs to families. This week, last week and the week before, the book lists, the uniform lists and the letters for voluntary contributions started coming in. And the scale of this can be quite considerable. Many schools do their best to minimise the costs, but very often if you have a child in primary school or two, and two children in secondary schools, you could well be paying €1,500. I spoke to one mother in Cork last week, Deputy Doherty, referred to her in leaders' questions last week, 1,700 and about five or 600 euro of that in voluntary contributions. That is enough to put any family under very severe pressure and asking questions about how they're going to pay the next bill, what are they going to be, are they going to go to the money lender, are they going to go to the credit union? These are very hard decisions. At a time that summer is supposed to be respite, a break particularly after the last two years, it can be a time of immense hardship. And Minister, I received an email from uh, a woman in, in Dublin recently, and this time of, she said, this time of year is so stressful, worse than I've ever felt. I have an empty fridge, no heat, no car tax, because I can't afford the arrears, which keep mounting. I've been on to St Vincent de Paul a few times for help. My eldest is going into transition year. The school asked for additional 100 to the standard registration for fourth year. I have no idea how I'm going to make ends meet when I afford anything this year when can I barely afford to make ends meet. Every two weeks my mortgage is paid when my social welfare goes in, leaving me at 50 euro for the week. And that is the reality for many families and not just at the very uh, lowest incomes but right into middle income families and cutting right across uh, the state. So that is the reality that we are contending with and it has been Sinn Féin's position in recent days and weeks uh, in launching our proposals that this could not wait until September, that this could not wait, that these costs will have come and gone. Now, the government's position until about two hours ago was that this had to wait until the budget. By, I'm sure it is no coincidence or quirk of calendar that the Minister has announced a set of proposals today. Now, I'm glad that the government has started to listen, that the government has realised that it was not possible, that it would not be fair, that it would not be equitable to ask parents to wait until September for assistance when these costs are arising this week, next week and over the coming weeks. And it is going to force people to make very difficult decisions. I want to welcome the fact that the government has taken on several of Sinn Féin's proposals. We have been very keen to ensure that those on the lowest income get additional help. But the problem is, Minister, is that there are still many, many people who will not benefit from this. And the other part of Sinn Féin's proposals was ensuring that those who currently don't get any assistance would get some. Because, Minister, under your proposal, if you have one child in school and you have a weekly income of €621, Euro, you will not qualify for back-to-school allowance. That is not a big income. That is lower than the average industrial wage. So, for all those families who are really struggling now, who don't currently qualify, I'm afraid your proposals do not address that, particularly if they don't avail of school transport. So, Minister, what I would say to you this evening is the government has started to listen. At last, they're not saying September any longer. That was an absolutely ludicrous and unfair position in any event, and equally so outside of this particular debate. But, Minister, you need to start listening to those families who don't qualify. They are under very severe pressure. They are going to be making decisions about bills. They are going to be making decisions about money lenders and credit unions and all the rest of it. I am urging you, yes, by all means, implement what you have brought forward today. I welcome it. It will help. But for those families who are looking on and today are wondering, they're watching the news and saying, oh, that might help us, and they're going to find out in a week or two that, no, actually, you're not getting anything. You need to do something about them. 
between now and September, Minister, I am urging you, go back to those talks with Minister McGrath, with Minister Humphreys, and the Taoiseach and the Taunish and whoever. Find a way to offer assistance to those families. €620 Euros a week, and you don't get anything. And you could be facing bills of over €1,000. I am afraid, Minister, that just isn't good enough. We need more help for them. So I welcome what you have taken on board from the Sinn Féin proposals. But I would ask you, look at the remainder and give some assistance to those who are really struggling, who do not qualify.